see the labs and uh, microscopes and we'll set up some shoots with uh, pipettes and, uh, and, a, and a bunch of different things. Um, there is expensive equipment in there. If you want to move anything, please just ask. Um, there are also some toxins, so don't drink anything or, you know, I, I've got to say it as a disclaimer. Um, at any rate, if you'll just follow me, we'll come on through. We have a couple security doors here. Um, have a great time. Uh, if you have any questions about things, I'm going to supposed to be hanging out in the, in the office here. Uh, I'll try and stay out of your way. Um, all the rooms that are open, you are free to go into. The far room on the left that has a lot of open equipment in it um, is the domain of Zhao Hui Yang, who is our ultrastructural specialist. If you touch anything in there, I will die. She will kill me. <laughs> It's, but you can you can photograph anything. You can move around in there. Just don't touch anything in that room. All the other rooms, it's really we've made it pretty safe. You can move things around. Um, so <laughs> welcome to Moran Eye Center. <laughs> The labs that are open at the other end of the hall, they're actually working right now, so please don't go in there and, and interrupt what's going on in there. But. No, I'm just uh, I'm trying to get a little bit of this blue glow as it fades across the paper and uh, illuminates the, the, uh, <coughs> the background a little bit of that paper. And I am wanting pretty good focus throughout, so I'm up at f11. And to get exposure, at least right now, as, it, as it's metering, uh, it's down at, it uh, looks like a fourth of a second. And I'm going to take a few test shots here and see if that's really, I'm doing some manual focus. She said So did you get what you wanted there? Think so. Think so? Got the knob? I got the knob. Cut these uh, bright, brightly colored boxes. Cut them. So we'll see if we can get anything. He's a guitar player, oh, yeah. singer. He rocks it out in church. Awesome, awesome. He goes out to Valley, he's done. Oh, cool. Yeah, we should cancel the elevator. Yeah. Should shake your hand again. Yeah. And I'm actually pushing the ISO, so I'm at I'm 640. But by doing the aperture value, you're going to shoot your lens as wide open as possible, so you're letting as much light. So that'll get your shutter speed as fast as it can be, because that's going to be your challenge. Not so much in this room, but in these other rooms is your is that. Uh, just uh, trying to get one of these beakers, make it interesting. So what's your philosophy here with the off camera? What are you trying to do different? Just uh, get a different different angle on the light coming through the beaker and uh, trying to just change it up a little bit from the ambient light. Very cool.
question or not? That's another question. Uh, what So he's giving that a try with his flash. I was taking it, but it was kind of drab with mine, but with that flash. Is it turning on all right? That is a very expensive level. <laughs> it's good for just keeping your horizon straight. Which, uh, so it's just one more tool to... Very cool. So you find yourself referencing it a lot? All the time. You get used to using All it? All the time. I get used to using it, but I don't rely on it. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get three of them there? Mm -hmm. All right. Really, really close. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> See? <laughs> you don't have to have a big camera for a nice shot. No. Thank <laughs> you.